Right, so we're speaking to Carl Marginson, Trafford's manager. Carl, I remember we spoke 10 days ago at Staley Bridge and you promised us a win and we've got it tonight. How are you feeling after that one? Um, elated, elated for everybody, um, especially the players. Uh, you know, in, in the two two games, we, obviously we've been in charge for, for four games, but the last two games we've seen glimpses of, of, of what we want to see going forward, you know, controlling games and, and playing good football, exciting football. Um, we can we can still add to it. We can still have a little bit more pace and be a bit more incisive. Um, but yeah, it was all about getting that win. Even though, you know, at this point in the season, um, we've just been well. I said it, kind of tongue in cheek, but um, you know, we're only I think we're 12 points off the playoffs. So I was uh, I just dropped a little bomb in there just to set the mindset. Of, of where we want to be and what we want to achieve, you know. Um, it, it was a false position, I think everybody knew that. The, the, the squad that Danny had assembled um, was capable of being a lot higher in the league than they were. Um, obviously, there's been a, a comings and goings, um, as it always is when a manager leaves, and um, I think we, we get, we're heading in the right direction. I think we've seen that, and um, I'm just, I'm, I'm really proud of him. I'm really, the, 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 since I've come in, you know, they've been really open to, to learning new things and, and um, yeah, that today's performance and obviously result can only open that. Mm -hmm. I think there was 14 fantastic performances out there on the pitch tonight, but everybody's going to be talking in the clubhouse afterwards about Matty Lusaquino and, and his performance. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we don't want to uh, big him up too much, but he, he looked lively tonight to say the least, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, uh, you know, we... I've only seen him, I've only known him for a, a couple of months, a few months um, since taking over and or with helping Steve with the under sweater ones and Steve told me all about him. Um, and you know, he stepped up into into this environment playing against men um, and he's been a bit of a revelation. So um, yeah, there's still lot lots to lots to come from him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we wanna we want to encourage his, his kind of growth, um, encourage him back into the game because he's had a, um, you know, a, a probably like all lads who, who have been at pro clubs and don't get the, the, you know, the pro contract or move into the first team and all this lot, you know, it knocks the confidence and things like that. And I think that's possibly been the case. Um, I've dealt with that in my own personal um, playing days, so I know exactly how that can feel and I know how to get things back on a on the straight and narrow and get yourself back enjoying football, which is what it's all about. You know, we're here to to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Um, and and whilst you're doing that, the blessing within that is that you're actually providing joy for other people. And I think them two goals tonight, certainly, I don't, I don't know about anybody else, but it gave me a lot of joy, not just because of the result, um, especially the second one. The second one's just, you know, they'd be playing that over and over again, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah. On, uh, on the uh, the big telly, if you like, or the big 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 games. Yeah. So um, buzzing for him, but also the the, the players who are, are around him that are supplying the, the passes to him. Everybody put a shift in tonight. Um, the way that we want to play is hard work. You know, first and foremost, you know, being going closing down um, quicker and then moving into positions to receive the ball. Um, it, it's it's a constant um, a constant work rate requirement really and. Uh, I, I can't be more proud of him, really can't. I think Harry Norris, for me personally, deserves a big shout out tonight. I mean, he's, he came to us, I think, 18 months ago as quite a young player. Uh, he's probably had to sort of step up and look around and think I've been here longest in, in this back four now. And, and, and he was a real rock tonight, for, I think, for most of us. Talking to people behind the goal, everyone was very pleased with his performance. All day long, you know, since I've come into the club, um, it was Harry and, and obviously Will, um, and obviously Will's gone on, on to Clivero and, and out, out of the two, as I was just analysing it, and I've not, obviously I've not been here all season, but I just thought that Harry's got that little bit more assured. I was I couldn't believe that he was the age that he is. You know, I, I, I had a meeting with all the experienced players, and I dragged him in, thinking he was one of the experienced players. Um, he's having a little joke. I think he's brought up on right up. So he's, he's only 22. He looks like he's a lot older. Um, <laughs> but there's a maturity about his play. I think that's the main thing. Um, you know, he shows real good leadership qualities. Having um, a young centre back who, who's come in as well, Kwame, um, uh, who's been again fantastic. Hardly put a foot wrong. Yeah. 
beats himself up a little bit about you know he, he's not a left footed player and he you know he beats himself up about um, hitting a bad pass with his with his wrong foot. Flipping it, these Premier League players who who do that constantly. So that that's it's all stuff. There's loads and loads of positive stuff that we can we can work on to improve them as individuals and people and uh, and improve their enjoyment of. Of the um, of the game, mm -hmm. I know Nantwich went down to ten men after about it was probably about 30, 35 minutes. But for me personally, I, I don't think that made much of a difference to them. They're a strong side and, and they're well organised and they cope well with that, which obviously meant that we had to, had to cope with what they were doing as yeah. well. And it's always dangerous in it for for that length of time. You, you, some you, they can be. If, you, if you're not careful, there can be a mindset within when you don't set of players where you've got that extra man. Someone might switch off and you know just drop it 10%. You know, and I don't think we did. But again, we th I think we saw the the, the quality of, of the Nantwich side that um, has reached the the FA Cup. They've, they've had a good run in the FA Cup. They're still in the FA Trophy. You know, so that speaks volumes for them. How, 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 how strong and how good a side they, they will be up there come the end of the season. There's no two ways about it. They've they they a quality in in possession um, and a good good method about them. And I expect nothing more from from uh, sorry nothing less from um, from Paul's teams because he, he's a quality manager himself. And I had his brother Adam as a as a player of mine um, at FC United, and I know what kind of standards that Adam's got. Um, and you could see that because the players carried it out on the pitch. We were, um, you know, the two yellow cards. You know, they, 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 they do dish them out a little bit. I'm not too sure. I think the first one would have been for an accumulation of, of, of tackles, um, and then the, the second one, he, he possibly could have, you know, he's lunged a little bit. Um, and referees, you know, taking that decision. But like I say, that um, that that could have been um, a one for us to take our foot off the pedal. Um, but the lads were, 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 were resilient and, and stuck to the task. Moved the ball well in, in, in patches. We can keep the ball better than we did. Um, and but they were all, it happens when it in football. They're all especially where we are in respect of not having a win this season. That was always the kind of kind of the goal. Um, and I think we did get a little bit nervy, um, you know, towards the, the latter end of the game, um, which is to be expected. Um, but the more comfortable we get with the ball, the better we'll be in them situations. Yeah, I think I think we've we've talked a bit. We've got a direction of travel and, and what you're bringing to the club and what you're, you're teaching the players, and, and uh, you know, it's about confidence and expressing yourself on the pitch. And I think confidence is going to come. Confidence comes with wins. We all know that. And uh, hopefully we can take that into the next game on Saturday against Witten. That's going to be another tough one, but um, I'm sure you'll have the lads prepared for that. Yeah, definitely. We've got a, a training session on, on Thursday um, and, and we'll be looking at resetting, refocus. It, it's the oldest one in the book, isn't it? The, the, this, this will take each game as it comes. You've got to. You've got to because then you can... You can make sure it's kind of breaking it down into bite-sized pieces, you know. Like rather than looking too far ahead, it's just a case of we'll we'll do our whatever homework we we can get on on Witten. Um, nice pitch there, you know, should suit us. I know John Macken from the days at, um, from from Radcliffe, it, his teams will, will, will want to play football as well, so it should be a good game. Yeah. Um, you know, we can take care of ourselves. Um, in, in respect of, of, of what we do in possession, out of possession, all them kind of things, and um, hopefully um, build on what we've started today. Yeah. You know, that's I think that's going to be the main thing. We're looking for for, for the level of consistency um, that, that will uh, will look to take us forward. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for speaking to us again, Carl. No problem. And uh, we'll catch up, no doubt, on Saturday. Yeah, great right. stuff. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Pete.